What a nice quiet finish to our weekend, our Sunday, the panned out to be really relaxing. Temperatures were on the cooler side. We only reached into the mid 50s today. Now we're right around 45 degrees. It has cooled down fast over the last two hours or so, just about eight degrees. We do have some warmer air that will be flowing in as we get to the overnight hours, which will keep our temperatures from falling down a little bit more than what we see right now, maybe a few more degrees. For the most part, though, as we get into the overnight hours, not going to be in the 30s like what we saw yesterday, but we will be in the lower to mid 40s. 44 degrees right now in Paris, 46 for Linton, Bloomington, 43 degrees. A little bit warmer off to the west for Effingham and Matt, too. And now with some warmer air moving in, we'll also have some clouds, too, so that will keep our temperatures from falling down that much, too. Not a strong wind here in Terre Haute, but there is a stronger wind off to the west. Mattoon right around 7 miles per hour. That might make it feel a little bit cooler out there on your skin, though. It's still pretty gentle out there, and it's pretty calm as we head through the afternoon and into our evening. That wind won't pick up that much. Here's the big picture. We have the cloud coverage just off to the north. That's all part of a low pressure system that will be rolling on in as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. We'll start to see some more moisture develop. Uh, not a lot, so the less moisture that there is, the quicker the system will be out of here. So by the time we reach our afternoon and into our evening tomorrow, we won't see that much cloud coverage and we won't see that rain that we should get throughout the area tomorrow morning. Here's the future cast. We're going through the overnight hours, stepping through time, picking up on a little bit of moisture by 6 a.m. It's not widespread, so when you're heading out the door tomorrow, grab the umbrella just in case, but you might not see that rain. It's going to be very hit or miss as we head through the morning hours. This is at 8 a.m., not picking up on a lot of moisture here. So like I said, it's kind of deprived from that liquid. We won't see a lot of it, and it will be out of here by the afternoon and into the evening, just leaving a few clouds. So the overnight temperatures falling down into the lower to mid 40s, right around 44 degrees. We continue back onto the future cast at 9 a.m. You'll see the system start to peel off to the east, bringing that rain with it. Maybe a few clouds Tuesday morning, but really it'll be pretty dry after we get through our Monday morning and into our Monday afternoon. Tonight, 44 degrees. I did leave that spotty chance for some rain in there and as well as some clouds also developing. Tomorrow, right around 63 degrees. Like I said, early morning rain. It should be out of here by the afternoon and evening, and it's going to be very hit or miss. Just about a 20% chance to see that rain. Tuesday, a few more clouds still lingering in through the area, but by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we are on the warming trend. We might even reach the 70s by next weekend, which would be really nice for this time of the year. Our average is usually 67. We've been well below that, Matt. Uh, Very cool. But tomorrow, not an all-day rain event. Maybe grab the umbrella for the morning hours, but it should be out of here and just really light. And we've had more than enough rain so far in the last month. We've had more than enough rain. We, we don't need it. Yeah, let's yeah. dry things out. I guess it will dry up a little bit this week and maybe warm up in the end. Yep. 